on Roblox, there are hundreds, if not thousands of car games, but which one is the best? Well, today, I'm going to be answering that question, but before we get into it, make sure you subscribe, and while you're at it, drop a like on this video, but without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, now, first up, we are in Car Crushers 2. Now, this game is pretty well known for, well, you guessed it, crushing cars. We're going to go in the dealership, right? And we're going to go ahead, see what cars I have. I believe I have a pretty funny one. If you can see, like, there's tons of car options in this game, right? Right here. I own this car. I paid some Robux for it. It's a toilet. It's a giant freaking toilet. That's hilarious. Um, What would happen if I just drove it off the roof? Oh, oh my god. This thing got crushed. Wow. Okay. We're going to flip this over. And now I'm going to go to a, one of the things you can do in this game to showcase it a bit. All right. We're in row one right now. I think I'm going to take my car down the stair fall. Let's just uh, see what happens. Oh, my god. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, look at my car. Dude, it's all destroyed. I mean, it's pretty clear why this game is super popular and one of the best car games out there. Um, you can literally take like your favorite cars, including funny cars like this, a toilet car, and just absolutely destroy it. And it's so it's so crazy how they make like all these parts explode. Oh my god, I just got nuked. You see? This game's insane, bro. There's so many things to do in it. And besides that, you can also do races around the map. Let's see, there's even nukes in it, like I was just saying. I don't even know what's going on, that's crazy. Um, But yeah, on to the next game. Next up, we have a game called Drift Paradise. And if you can't guess it already, this game's about drifting. So, I believe this is the most popular drift car game on Roblox. I think I'm going to try out Paradise. Let's go to Paradise and let's see how this game works. I actually don't play this too often, but I do know it's really good and really fun to drift around in. So I'm going to wait for this to load up and then I'll show you how you can drift. All right, so I'm in the game right now and I'm going to spawn in a car. And as you can see, you can pay Robux for cars. You can buy cars with in-game cash and you actually get a Lamborghini for free. So let's see how to obtain it real quick. You gotta join their group. Okay, okay. So you gotta join their group to get that car for free. Um, let's see. What other cars could I get? We can get a rice or shopping car. Ooh, that's pretty fire, man. I might need to get this. Um, what else can we get? We can get this car, this car, this car. Okay, so there's a lot of car options, as you can see. Like, as a new player, I don't have much money yet, but there's so many things you can get. You can get a free Lamborghini. You can get some funny cars. You can get some real cars. But I need to pick a car, so... I think I'm gonna go for the Nissan Silvia S14. I'm gonna purchase it right now. Um, yes, sir. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna try drifting it around a bit. Yo, oh my God, check out, check me out, check me out. Ooh, I'm sliding, I'm sliding. Dang, okay, okay, well, this is so much fun. I'm definitely gonna have to come back and play this game some more later, but let's head on to the next game. All right, now the first game we went over is a good game for crashing. The second game we went over is a good game for drifting. But the third game we're going to go over is called Greenville. And this is one of two games I'm going over for role playing. So as you can see, the cars, you know, they aren't the highest of quality. They got decent models, but the rims aren't too realistic. And oh my God, why is this game kind of laggy? Um, Ignore that. But this game is mainly about role playing. You can basically get like tons of jobs right here, as you can see. So... Um, oh wait, that's not jobs. What is that? Where, where's jobs? Right here. Here we go. We got jobs. Okay, so basically in this game, you can choose from all of these jobs. For example, we got burger, worker, uh, we got criminal, GVPS worker, don't know what that is, fire rescue, pizza place worker, sheriff office worker, quick dollar worker. You get what I'm saying. There's so many different jobs and you can, you know, role play with friends, like just type in chat, like, yo, let's meet up at this place for a car show. Let's go do our job at this time. We, we even have time in the game and we even have direction. You know what direction you're going. That's sick. Um, but like I said, the cars aren't the best. So if you, if you care about car detail, I guess stick around to the end because we will go over some of those games. See, we've just met a fan in this game. How nice. I'm going to say thank you in chat. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see, you know, what we can do in this game right now. So this is the starter car, I'm guessing. Uh, as you can see, it's a bit beat up. So I'm definitely going to have to play this game a bit more later and get a bit of cash in it. Um, but this game, you know, as I was explaining, you can just get a job and role play. So I think I'm going to take my car somewhere to try to get a job. Let's see what job I can get. All right, I got a job at some place called Burger Night. I have to go try to find where this Burger Night place is. Oh, lucky me, I found, oh wait, that's not Burger Night, that's Burger Haas, what the heck? Um, let's see, 
Forget my job at Burger Night. We're, we're working for Burger Haas now. Okay, okay, right here. I, ooh, I got a little outfit. So that's pretty cool. You get outfits depending on what job you go to. So we're working at Burger Haas right now. How do I get into Burger Haas? A few moments later. You hand out burgers, right? To customers that come and then you make money from that. So that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, they even have a drive through So you can definitely see this game's very oriented towards role-playing players, which if you're one of those, that's amazing. You got a new game here you can play. So there is more options though if you want to you know keep playing these roleplay games so i'm gonna go on to the next game and showcase another roleplay game you all will see me there in a second all right and this next roleplay game i'm showcasing is none other than southwest florida now i actually have quite a bit of experience in this game as i played it a lot off camera as you can see i got 19 million so i'm big balling in this game we got a lot of money and i also have a lot of cars as you can see right here but Let's go ahead and showcase some of the gameplay. So basically, it's very similar to Greenville. There's tons of jobs to choose from. And I'm gonna choose police, for example. As you can see, when I become a police officer, I get a custom police outfit and I get some tools. Just like Greenville, you know, you get an outfit for your job and you get tools. As you can see, I got a notification notifying me that there's a robbery that I should go basically handle because that's my job in the game right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in a car and I'm gonna just showcase some of the vehicles in the game. And I'll also showcase, you know, what you can do at a robbery. So, which car should I use? I think I'll use a hyper car. I'm feeling like balling out today. Now, a lot of cars in this game do not have interiors, but this one is a rare example of one with an interior, so that's pretty cool. Um, it does have 2D rims, though. That's unfortunate. Um, but the interior looks quite nice. I'm going to go ahead and drive over now to the uh, robbery area and try to show it off. All right, I think I'm a bit late to the robbery. I don't even know if I went to the right place. Um, oh, wait, I actually am here. I made it. I made it. Okay, so you would go in here, right? And we're just going to want to stop this bad guy up here. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Um, okay, I think we got him. Come on, come on. I got him. Okay, um, perfect. We got him. As you can see, we got to... Oh, shoot, the money. They got it. Um, it, it I, did, I wasn't able to stop it in time, but... If you did stop it in time, basically there would be a little uh, thing you would need to do, like you would just stand on this and it would uh, stop it from getting the money stolen. Um, but that's basically the point of this game. There's tons of other jobs that you could also do, such as working as a cashier here. And it's pretty fun if you want to roleplay. You can also purchase houses in this game. I don't know if you could do that in Greenville, as I'm not as experienced in the game. Um, and then there's also gas, which you, you just go here, stop your car, and you can purchase it. Um, but besides that, that's basically it to this game. So let's go ahead and showcase the next game. All right, now the next game is a game called Ultimate Driving. Now, I don't have much experience with this game, but something that intrigues me about it is all the really cool cars that, like, you don't see in other games. For example, right here, this Maybach-looking thing. Like, I have never seen this car, but they have it in their game. Um, this Mustang right here, another car that I have not seen in any other game, but they have it. This car, I believe I, only, I don't really see this in many games. I've seen it in Forza before, but besides that... I have never really seen that car in games, so I like how like they have so many unique car options. We can actually view my cars right now. I got these things. Uh, let's see, where else? Dealership. Okay, let's view what cars they have to offer in here. So they got, wow, look, see what I'm saying? Like there's so many unique cars in this game that you just don't see in other games. Like what the heck is this? <laughs> oh my, I, what, <laughs> what is this? Is this like a flying car? I don't even know, man. That That's what I like about this game. Whenever I join it to just look at what's in the game, like, I'm not good at the game. I never really play it. But, like, whenever I join to see what's in the game, it always catches me off guard like that. There's just so many unique cars. So, this is more, like, of a mainstream car game now. There's not really, like, a role-play aspect or, like, a car crash aspect. It's kind of just, like, you race and make money to get cool cars. That's what, like, a lot of the other car games on this list are going to be like from now on there's going to be a few that won't be like that but this game is mainly like that so as you can see here we are driving a car now something i don't like is the way that the camera works when you're driving i feel like it's a bit annoying and it kind of looks crappy i wish it was just like wouldn't change like you can obviously tell it looks different i don't like that at all um the ui it's a bit cluttered there's kind of a lot of stuff on my screen that's something i'm noticing it's kind of a mess there's like a lot just a lot going on so for a new player it might be a bit confusing um uh besides that i don't really know anything else to showcase in this game i mean 
I guess we could do a race right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find one of those real quick for you guys. Shoot, something I just found about this game. They actually have jobs, so I apologize for not showing this already. They have mail job on a DOT worker. Okay, I don't know what that is. Transport job, firefighter, police, criminal, trucker, and citizen. So we're a citizen right now, but that's a cool little thing they have. I'm still searching for a race. I don't really know where any are. Like, where, where, where are races at? I'm just driving around. Oh, I see a racing flag. I'm gonna head over there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. They have some races there for me. Okay, after driving around, I finally got to a race. Um, the one that we saw earlier was like some mountain race, so this car is obviously not meant for driving off road, so we had to find another one, but we found this race here. I can't see what it is. That's annoying. I have to like zoom out a bunch. What are we at? I don't even know. We're at some kind of random race, so I'm gonna just do it right now and see how the car feels racing in this game. Um, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come on. Let's get this race started. Let's see what's up. Okay, here we go. We're driving around. This actually is quite fun, okay. I like it, okay, we're doing good. Ooh, look at that, when you drive in the grass, it leaves like the tire marks. Ooh, we got a ramp. Oh shoot, don't flip my car, oh my god. Oh, we have crashed, no, no, no. Okay, good, everyone else crashed too. We are doing fine, okay. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up this race, and then we'll move on to the next game. I just leveled up and got this free car. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what that does for me. Um, but yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at that car after the race. Um, so let's go ahead. See, let's see where the finish line is. I don't really know. It looks like we're getting close because it says like we're a few feet away from it maybe. I don't really know. Oh my god, I think we are about to be done. Where is the finish line? Oh, it's right here. Yes. I finished let's go okay we leveled up so many times during that race um what car where's my car I thought it said I got a free car what okay that sucks um but whatever anyways let's go ahead and move on to the next game all right now the next game on my list is actually a pretty popular game called car dealership tycoon you basically build your car dealership right and then you get a car that you want and put it in the dealership to make you money you can also make money by driving around and racing in this game so pretty simple I have tons of cars let me go ahead and drive this one this one's my personal favorite in the game so I'm gonna go ahead let's just see we can go ahead take it to all these races there's also seasons in the game right so you do these seasons to get free cars which is pretty cool free cars who doesn't love free cars and you basically just have to you know go ahead do the races complete the challenges and then you get you know your cars in the game you earn some money and i believe you can even buy houses in this game which is pretty cool um i think i'm gonna go ahead find a race right now and we're gonna take this bugatti on a race all right, I'm at a race right now, but before we go ahead and start it, I'm gonna just showcase in this game, there's a few things you can do to the customization. You can change your engine, you can add turbos, and change out the tires. Um, and then you can also, of course, do paint, interior wheels, and calipers on the cars. But let's go ahead and try out a race. Alrighty, now we are in the race, and this is an off-road race, I guess. I don't know how we're gonna do, we're in a Bugatti. Hopefully the Bugatti can do a bit of off-roading for me just this one time. Um, Let's go ahead, keep it time, lads. Let's see how I do. Shoot, I messed up there. I don't think I was the only one, so it's all good. We're gonna go ahead, try to regain. Um, oh wait, we're already, we're still in first place. We didn't lose first place. Okay, I thought a car passed me. We're fine. We're fine. Let's focus back up. All right, and we finished the race in first place and got $7,500. That's a quick overview of Car Dealership Tycoon. Let's move on to the next game. All right, now our next game is gonna be Vehicle Legends. Now this game is a great open world driving experience. You just basically pop in your car and you can drive around, do races, do whatever you want. It's that simple now. Something I like about this game is the customization system. So we got appearance. You can change all these different things and I love that you can add window tint to change, you know, how light or dark the tint on your car is. And we also have suspension upgrades and even suspension stiffness, which like changes how your car basically kind of drives. Like if it's bouncy and off-roady or if it's like a racing stiff suspension. Then we also have tires. If you want to make your car slippery for drifting, drag racing, you can do drag race tires or just race tires if you want to go around the track and even off-road tires if you want to go off-roading. I think 
I'm gonna go ahead and showcase a race in this game real quick right now. All right, so as you can see in this game, there's a wide variety of races. It might be a bit confusing for someone who's new, but basically you just have to pick one and you can just go ahead and do it. I think I'm gonna go on the highway race. This is my favorite one because you just have to drive in a straight line. Pretty simple. You just go put your foot on the gas and you see how fast you can go. So let's go ahead and see how fast this car goes, for example. We're in a Bugatti right now. Hopefully this thing's pretty fast. Uh, three, two, one, go. Okay, let's see. We're, we're gonna smoke this guy. I'm really gonna show him who's the best racer, am I right? Your driver is the best racer in town. If y'all have seen my videos, you know I'm so good at Oh yeah, okay, here we go. We're about to go 300 miles per hour. Oh my God, this thing's fast. Let's see. 361 and with boost we go 362 it might be a bit faster downhill because physics um yeah i was right 370 something this thing's pretty freaking fast as you can see um there's also tons of other races you can do as i was saying um but that's just my personal favorite one and in this game there's also tons of leaderboards to showcase the best players and this guy right here oh my god he's rich 2.2 billion i've actually made a video with that guy before go ahead check it out i showcase the richest player of this game so make sure you go ahead and watch that video after this one but now we need to move on and showcase the final game what the best game on roblox is if you want to play a car game we're gonna go to that right now all right we're loading into the best game now drum roll please the best game is driving empire now this one's a bit controversial i know because they've gone through a lot of controversy last year with the crates in their game but they've removed those and moved on so let's go ahead and see what they have to offer now let's see we got licensed vehicles in this game so that means they have legal permission and they've paid for licensing from real car companies to have real cars in their game with branding badging and everything so let's go ahead and see what some of their licensed cars are in the dealership since that's the number one reason to play this game right now so we got paganis hennessy's and ssc's so i'm just going to showcase the model quality which is what they're well known for let's go ahead and open this up we got opening parts and look at that engine right there y'all can see that that is pretty realistic and the interior and everything like everything opens up everything's realistic and that's not just for that one car it's for every car they put that level of detail in right here for example another car very realistic engine very realistic interior let's go ahead and just showcase another one let's showcase a different brand than pagani ssc's right here explode this bam another realistic car let's see the new hennessy's these just got added as i'm recording right now so Let's see this one right here. We got the engine there. The opening doors look so good. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and drive around in the car right now. All right, we are at a race right now. And something that I like about this game that other games don't offer is you can actually race alone just doing a time trial or you can race with other people. So I think I'm gonna do a time trial right now just to showcase that feature. So that's my personal best and it'll keep track of the personal best. Um, so you know if you beat your personal best ever so I think right now I'm gonna go ahead do this race This is called the rush hour race. It's a race through the city. Let's go ahead and see how fast I can do it in Oh my god, I'm cracked at this race guys I got it done in 46 seconds setting my new personal best time on it. That's pretty cool. Um, Okay, now something pretty cool about this game I almost forgot to mention is they have motorbikes, helicopters, and boats in it. So you can see I'm driving my motorbike right now. This thing looks sick. Um, Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and showcase a helicopter I've got. Let's see right here. My golden helicopter. This thing's pretty pricey. It's a pretty, pretty fast helicopter too. So let's see how fast I can make it go right here, right now. We're going 346 miles per hour. Where's a good spot to uh, spot in some boats? How about right here? Let's see what boats I have in this game. I have a super yacht. Let's go ahead, spawn in my super yacht. Bam. Look at how big this thing is. So as you can see, tons to do in Driving Empire. This is why, I mean, it's the number one car game for me, in my opinion, and maybe the tons of other people in this car game community on Roblox. Well, these are the current best car games to play on Roblox. Let me know if you think I missed any in the comment section below. Also, if you want to play any of these games, all of the links will be in the pinned comment or the description. Make sure you check both. 
just in case, you know, I put them in either or. I might put them in both areas just to make it convenient for you guys. But drop a like if you enjoyed this video. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.